What do you know, guys? I told you I was going to get it. This right here is the unboxing video of the Traxxas Nitro Slash. And this one actually has a special place in my heart, honestly. First of all, I've driven nitros before. I have my uncle owns an HPI and Nitro Savage and, and stuff like that. I've driven nitros before, but I've never owned a nitro. I never owned a nitro RC before. I own plenty of electrics, mainly a lot of Traxxas. I've owned, I've owned a Rustler, I own a Slash, two-wheel drive, electric one, and I own two Vortex. But this right here is the first, and I mean the first, Nitro RC that I ever, ever had on my RC collection. This right here is the Traxxas Nitro Slash. And a little, like I said, before I start beginning to unravel this thing, um, I I wanted to get myself a nitro, but I've never really gotten the chance to like do my research on it. So I tried to do some of my own research by checking either the nitro rustler or the nitro slash because my friend who who owns a nitro rustler is telling me don't get a nitro sport because I was going to consider getting a nitro sport since it was cheap, but he said just if you're gonna go with nitro and especially if it's Traxxas get either a Nitro Slash or a Nitro Rustler. I must say, I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a size comparison between the Nitro Slash and my regular electric Slash. And this one, this electric one's already been bashed a lot, but uh, it's a perfect area to actually talk about and do a size comparison. Anyways, sorry for wasting two minutes of your time, <laughs> but I just wanna get that out of the way. Anyways, let's start doing the unboxing. If you guys notice, I'm actually doing this on the floor. I don't have enough room on my table. Um, I'll show you why and what I mean. Look at that. All my MLP stuff, all my Xbox and stuff like that. I had to clean up my desk a little bit more. That's why I'm not doing this on the, on the table. I would do it on the table if I had enough room. Sometimes this piece of there's a little tape over here that I need to take out. There we go. Oh, what do you know? Here comes there's the transmitter. Oh, what do you know? It's the same transmitter as my on my uh, Ford Tech with my Ford GT body on it. styrofoam stuff let's get all this other stuff these miscellaneous stuff out of the way uh, get this out real quick get that, get that out of the way and let's bring her oops let's bring her out you guys ready it's time for the moment you've been waiting for duh little bit what do you know <laughs> what do you know look at that that's just amazing so yeah like I said this is my first Traxxas Nitro but also it's my first Nitro RC in general um, and so far I, I don't even know what racer is this one but uh, does that really matter to me? This thing is amazing. Anyways, this is, like I said, the Traxxas Nitro Slash, and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a 
size comparison between my normal electric slash to the nitro slash. Now, uh, my electric slash has a little bit of some changes. Um, I actually did not use the standard progressive springs on it. As you can see, that's just the stock rustlers uh, suspension springs. But uh, yeah. But uh, the nitro slash actually uses the typical tracks of slash. Progressive rate springs, so cl uh, closer spring rate on the on the uh, top top and bottom ends, and um, uh, wider wider spring rate on the on the middle part. But as you can see, sorry about the fan noise. Uh, I got it on. It's kind of hot in my room. But um, aside from that, this is literally the same thing as what you find on a typical electric slash. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Side view comparison. And like I said, it's just the same thing. Okay, enough of me blabbing with you guys about how awesome this thing is. Let's go over some of the key key details on the on the truck first. But first of all, let's go over, let's go over the stuff that comes with it. Not just the truck and the controller, because that's not that's more than just what an RC is. Um, here is the fuel bottle, and uh, looks like we can easily just do that. I'm actually glad that Trax is actually uh, included this with the package. I don't think other Nitro, other RC brands that offer Nitros have this. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I got plenty of RC viewers here on my channel that do have own RCs, but. There it is, fuel bottle, pretty cool. And um, this one's actually a, the usual goodies and stuff, but um, this is the first time I actually ever seen what the Nitro one I have. I've seen an Ultimate RC. If you guys follow UltimateRC.com or Jang, he had or he did an unboxing of this thing a while ago, a while back when this thing was new. So we got ourselves the typical goodies here. We got um, just the same thing as the electric slashes and the, all the electric tracks and stuff. You got your vinyl sheet here. Um, actually, this one is not the one that you can actually cut off. This is actually actual stickers. Okay. Same thing with this one right here. You got your TQI performance guide and... Uh, uh, okay. And then some of the chargers that Traxxas includes. And uh, I don't even know what this one is like a mailing thing. And a whoopsie dang. There we go. Nitro slash owner's manual. And um, yeah, I'm going to carefully read these, read that because this is the first time I ever owned a Nitro. And also some Traxxas fuel. Yeah. So. That stuff out of the way. Let's uh, move on. Is there anything in the box? Oh no, that's just extra styrofoam on the other side. Okay, no big deal. This right here, just like your typical electric slash and other Traxxas models, it also includes some shock spacers. Very nice, very nice. Oh, what is this? Um, air filter oil, okay. That sounds nice. And we got some extra body clips and um, washers and zip ties. Huh. I wonder what those zip ties are for. Figure, I'll figure that out soon. And um, it also includes a battery. Um, as of this thing was an electric car. Um, this one is a six cell nickel metal hydride. 7.2 volt battery pack and if I can try to take this out come on there you go see this one's 1800 milliamp hours so it's not going to be going on any RC but um looks like the same size that can actually fit on my rustler and unfortunately they're not using Traxxas connectors they're using Tamiya plugs come on Traxxas why are you not using your your standard plugs well, all in all, I mean, if it works, it works. 
And actually, this battery is mainly meant for the easy start system, your easy start um, device. Um, there's your Traxxas nickel metal hydride charger. Um, it's a good thing they actually gave, gave us the extras because that would be nice to have it. And uh, let's see. We got the some tools here and it looks like an extra glow plug. Um, if, for those of you guys don't know what a glow plug is for art for nitro RCs, the glow plug is just basically the nitro RC equivalent to a spark plug on your on your real car. And uh, we got some tools here. Um, the usual tools except for this extra wrench over here okay and last but not least the easy start uh starter and this one right here yep um i've seen how these things work in videos you just basically put it on the back of the truck and then it will just start off for you with the push of a button so instead of using all those lawnmower style where you had to you had to start up like that or use a drill and turn it on but yeah that's um what we got here for for all the tools that's a lot of stuff sorry this thing is being a long uh, a long unboxing there's so many stuff in the, in this package so anyways let's move on to the truck now the truck is literally the same, literally the same um, dimensions as the standard two-wheel drive tracks a slash. Well, that's electric power, but this one is actually a little bit different here, slightly. Um, Exterior-wise, I mean, it looks the same, but except the, on the nitro slash, we got a pre-cut hole on the windshield to allow air into the engine, and we also got some holes up here on the back allow the air out and also from what Jang said uh, it will be good for anti-parachuting so yeah so that's what it's all about so let's take off the body and like I said it's a typical Traxxas two-wheel drive slash um, body I think it could probably fit on my standard two-wheel drive slash um, electric so how we're inside the guts of this thing. Uh, let's see what's to say. Uh, let's see. I think I've seen this before. This is a oh. Let me see. Oh, it's the braking. It's the braking procedure. It's just basically saying just don't run this thing and try to re run, just drive it imme immediately. Frank, I can't speak well. It's basically saying that do not start driving this thing uh don't go full throttle this thing as if you were just going to be driving as an electric car yeah that's the Traxxas does have a point here do not drive it the way you drive your electrics once you get them out of the box don't go full throttle on that thing um yeah since you're dealing with an actual engine not electric power so um uh, low center of gravity uh stock and looks like the front end yeah, the front end's literally the same thing as my, as the standard tracks of Slash. Okay. I don't think this one is standard, though. This thing looks a little bit different here. But aside from that, the bulkhead, the front bumper, the A-arms, and ca uh, caster blocks, and turnbuckles, uh, your control arms, everything that I'm seeing here is on the front is the same thing as on the tracks of slash two-wheel drive electric okay and the back here um this one's actually a new thing right here right here um okay so we put double a's in the back over here okay and we got uh but let me see here yeah everything that i'm seeing here on the back is the sta standard two-wheel drive slash so um same rear end, same A arms, same drive axles, same uh, same A arm, same drive axles, um, same upper control arm. Yeah, everything that I'm seeing here is the same thing as the 
typical two-wheel drive electric slash. Okay, sounds good. So parts are interchangeable. So let's get onto the middle section here. Uh, let me grab you guys along. We got ourselves a fuel tank. It's a pretty big fuel tank for what it is for those good run times. Um, let's see what it says here. It says clean air filter after each hour of runtime. Okay. Caution, hot. I think they're talking about this. Or, yeah, looks like they're talking about this which is the exhaust. And uh, we got ourselves the Traxxas TRX 3.3 motor. And it has the easy start motor here on the uh, built on board. And it looks like we got the transmission down here. Looks like the transmission. No, transmission is the back, back over here. Okay. Um, let's see. We got the air filter. Um, and this is actually the first right here that I've seen on, on, on a Traxxas vehicle that I've owned. And this one is the Traxxas 2055s. Uh, I thought those things were gone already, but uh, those things are a big improvement compared to the Traxxas 2018s. Because right now all, all my Traxxas uh, vehicles are actually running either 2075 or 2056. 2056 being on my Traxxas Bruster and my one of my Vortex, and the 2075 being on also one of my other Vortex and my Electric Slash. But uh, let's see here. Look at that. Just look at that. Um, the gears are okay. It's not too sloppy. Um, and it looks like oh. The brakes are actually back there. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. It's on the spur gear itself. That's where the brake is at. Okay. And yep. It looks like everything that I'm seeing here is. Wow, amazing. Honestly, it is. Like I said, this is my first Nitro RC that I ever owned. So, I can't wait to start driving this thing soon. Yep, that's just downright amazing. And actually, what I'm seeing here is unlike my electric slash, everything is all Phillips. Phillips there, Phillips there, Phillips everywhere. It's not like my electric one where most of the parts are hex. Anyways, receiver box, that's in there. Short antenna, thank you Traxxas, this time. I'm not integrating a long antenna like what you did with my other Fortec. Come on, you know better than that. And this one actually has the progressive springs. Pretty soft though. May actually add some preload to that. But aside from that, they're okay shocks. Um, I'm not gonna be doing some serious racing with this thing. It's gonna be just something to have fun with. Yep. So that's the current standard and set up for the Traxxas Nitro Slash. Just a little quick thing, I haven't actually showed you what it looks like on the inside. That's what it looks like on my Electric Slash compared to the Nitro Slash. So, yeah. Same thing, um, same dimension, same everything. It looks like. I can see a little bit more toe in on the Nitro Slash compared to that one. And also, we got new tires and these things are worn out, so yeah. Aside from that, it's everything's all the same. Um, dimensions. Yeah, I need to replace that spring over there. That, that thing is bent. But aside from that, yep, everything's all the same. So there you guys have it. The Traxxas Nitro Slash. I'm very happy that I've actually got this. Um, I worked pretty hard to get my get myself one of these things, and the only thing that I'm missing is the nitro fuel. But I'll get that uh, at a, hopefully by this weekend because I'm going to be working tomorrow. So at least I can have some money in my pocket, which I still do. 
But, uh, yeah, maybe either tomorrow or Saturday I'll get myself the the fuel for it and other stuff that I need. And like I said, this is my first time running Nitro, so I'm going to have some help with my some of my friends. One of my friends on YouTube and on Xbox actually owns the Nitro Wrestler. Uh, he'll give me some tips on how to work this out since I'm very new to this. And yeah. And there will be some driving videos with this thing coming very soon. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Yeah, I know it's a long unboxing video. But yeah, it's, uh, it's well worth it though. Alright guys, talk to you guys again soon.